analysis of line to line fault or ll fault a line to line fault occurs when there is a short circuit between two conductors or a two transmission lines the strong wind is the major cause for this type of fault and the line conductors swinging due to the heavy wind may touch each other and hence cause the short circuit the percentage of such type of fault is approximately 15 to 20 percentage so now we'll see the steps involved in the analysis of line to line fault step 1 draw the diagram of three phase generator model representing the fault step 2 write the basic equation step 3 consider symmetrical component of current step 4 consider symmetrical component of voltage derived from the sequence network of generator then step 5 consider phase current step 6 consider phase voltage and step 7 find the positive sequence current ia plus and step 8 find the fault current if step 9 draw the sequence network start with the step 1 draw the diagram of three phase generator model representing the fault so consider a three phase generator with a fault through an impedance zf between phases b and c here we are considering the fault occurs between phase b and c so the fault current is flowing in this path and the fault impedance is zf and the voltages at all the phases are va vb and vc and the current ia ib and ic the short circuit occurs between phase b and c step 2 write the basic equation so consider the same three phase generator model representing the fault so to write the basic equation first here we are considering phase b and c are short circuited so phase a is left open so the phase a current ia equal to 0 and next this current ib is flowing in this direction and ic is opposing that this both get short circuited so ib is equal to minus ic you can write ib equal to minus ic and now uh, the potential between the two points that is this point b b phase point and c phase point that is the potential at b phase is vb and potential at b, uh, c phase is vc so the potential difference is vb minus vc so vb minus vc is equal to the current flowing through that path that is fault current if into the fault impedance zf so if into zf they can write if into zf or ib into zf since if is equal to ib so these are the basic equation we are going to consider take that as a first equation now step 3 consider symmetrical component of current so consider the symmetrical component of current equation ia not ia plus ia minus equal to t inverse matrix into ia ib and ic now we are going to substitute the equation 1 in this second equation in equation 1 we know that ib is equal to minus ic so therefore ic is equal to minus ib so instead of ic i am substituting minus ib here so now expanding this matrix so ia not equal to 1 by 3 into 0 plus ib minus ib and plus ib minus ib get cancelled that will be equal to 0 and ia plus equal to 1 by 3 into 1 into 0 a into ib minus a square into ib so similarly for ia minus and well seeing this two equation ia plus and ia minus ib term is common here the only difference is a minus a square and here it is a square minus a the only difference is minus sign so we can conclude that ia not equal to 0 and ia plus is equal to minus ia minus and this is your third equation step 4 consider symmetrical component of voltage derived from the sequence network of generator va not va plus va minus equal to 0 ea0 minus z matrix into the symmetrical component of current expanding this va not equal to 0 minus z not into ia not and we know that ia not equal to 0 and 0 into minus z not equal to 0 and va plus equal to ea minus z plus into ia plus va minus equal to 0 minus z minus into ia minus and we know that ia plus equal to minus ia minus so instead of this minus ia minus i am substituting ia plus and this is your fourth equation step 5 phase current so consider the phase current equation ia ib ic that is equal to the t matrix into ia not ia plus ia minus expand this matrix So IA equal to IA not plus IA plus plus IA minus, and we know that IA not equal to zero, and IA plus equal to minus IA minus, 
So IA minus equal to minus IA plus. So you can substitute that here. And IA plus and minus IA plus get cancelled. That will be equal to zero. And for IB, IA naught is zero. So substituting the second term, IA square into IA plus plus IA into IA minus. And instead of IA minus, substituting minus IA plus, and the term become IA square minus IA into IA plus. Similarly, the C phase current IC equal to IA into IA plus minus IA square into IA plus. So I have replaced this I A minus in terms of I A plus. So you'll be getting I A plus into A minus A square. So this is your fifth equation. Now step six, consider the phase voltage. So the phase voltage equation can be represented like this: V A V B V C equal to the T matrix into V A naught V A plus V A minus. Expanding this matrix, V A equal to, and we know that V A naught is equal to zero. So V A equal to V A plus plus V A minus. And VB equal to A square VA plus plus A into VA minus. VC equal to A into VA plus plus A square into VA minus. And this is your sixth equation. Now step seven: find positive sequence current IA plus. So to find that, we are considering the equation one: VB minus VC equal to ZF into IB. Taking that as equation seven, and substitute the sixth equation in the seventh equation. In the sixth equation, we found VB and VC. So we are going to substitute that here. Uh, a square into V A plus plus A into V A minus minus V C term A into V A plus minus A square into V A minus. That will be equal to Z F into I B. And taking V A plus as common, it becomes A square minus A. And V A minus as common, it becomes A square minus A. And that will be equal to Z F into I B. So now in this uh, equation, taking A square minus A as common, so the equation becomes V A plus minus V A minus. That will be equal to Z F into I B. So this is your eighth equation. Now from that eighth equation, I'm going to substitute I B equal to I A plus into A square minus A. So this is from equation five. So from equation five, we derived I B equal to I A plus into A square minus A. So substituting that instead of uh, this I B, so you'll be getting this equation. In this equation, you can cancel this A square minus A and A square minus A. So the equation become. V A plus minus V A minus that will be equal to I A plus into E Z F and this is your equation nine. So now we are going to substitute this V A plus and V A minus from equation four. So substituting that value E A minus E Z plus I A plus minus E Z minus into I A plus that will be equal to I A plus into E Z F. So taking I A plus is common here E Z F and bring all these two terms E Z plus and E Z minus to this side it become plus. So I A plus into E Z plus E Z minus plus E Z F, and this side it is E A. And now from this equation we can find I A plus. I A plus equal to E A divided by the whole E Z term. So this is your positive sequence current I A plus. Equation number ten. Step eight. Find fault current I F. So to find fault current, we can take this equation I F equal to I B. Since it is a line to line fault, the B phase is shorted with C phase. So I B and that will be equal to minus I C. So from equation five, you can see I B is equal to minus I C and that will be equal to A square minus A into I A plus. Now use phase of values for the A operator. So instead of uh, A, you can substitute cos 120 degree plus J sine 120 degree. And for A square, cos 240 degree plus J sine 240 degree. So if you substitute, you'll be getting I B equal to cos 240 plus J sine 240 minus Instead of A, cos 120 plus J sine 120 degree into I A plus. So now, cos 240 is minus 0.5, and sine 240 is uh, minus root 3 by 2, so minus 0.866, and cos 120 is minus 0.5. Similarly, substitute cos 120 and sine 120, so you'll be getting this expression. And here you can cancel this minus 0.5 and plus 0.5. You'll be getting this 0.866, and you'll be getting. Minus 0.866 and minus 0.866. So if you add these two, you'll be getting 1.732. This 1.732 is nothing but root 3. So I B equal to minus J root 3 into I A plus. This is your 11th equation. And now we are going to substitute the 10th equation in this 11th equation. In the 10th equation, we derived. In the 10th equation, we obtained this I A plus. We are going to substitute that I A plus over here. So you'll be getting I B equal to minus J root 3 into E A divided by E Z plus plus E Z minus plus E Z F, and this is your fault current I F. The last step, step nine, 
draw the sequence network. So from equation 3 and the fault current equation, we can see the positive and negative sequence network are in parallel. Since here IA plus is equal to minus IA minus, so these two sequence networks are connected in parallel. And in the fault current expression, you, in the fault current expression, there is no zero sequence component. Z naught is not present. So only a positive sequence and negative sequence impedances are present and the fault impedances are present. So the sequence network of line to line fault consists of the positive sequence network and the negative sequence network alone and both are connected in parallel. So we can draw like this the positive sequence network which consists of the induced EMF and the positive sequence impedance and the current flowing through that is IA plus and which is connected in parallel to the negative sequence network Z minus and the current is IA minus and in between you will be having the uh, fault impedance EZF. The voltage correspond to the sequence networks are VA plus and VA minus. So this is your complete sequence network of line to line fault. Uh, this is the analysis of line to line fault.